Gigabyte introduced Gmate AI, a new revolutionary AI that you can have assist you when you are doing your daily task on your PC. For example, he just asked it, well, I'd like to do so and so. Take a look at its response. Your behavior profile indicates a preference for high performance, fast reaction operations. Gaming mode is now active, dynamically reallocating GPU. Now, is this something you would like to use? It also does have many other uses, which we will certainly figure out soon. Wind Force Infinity Best in Class Thermal Power. Better way for them to cool your laptop using AI Power. I know a lot of you are probably tired of hearing that word, but. That is the new thing. That worst GeForce RDX 5090 Infinity. That's pretty awesome. Oh wait, it's funny when it peaks, right? Oh, you can see it too through the vent. Yeah, when it's peaking, it shows the fan in the inside. Yeah, I just noticed that. That's so massive. What's that, like 140? Hey, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty tall. Oh, wow. Horizontal, yeah. Okay. I think it was probably better for cable motion. So that works as long as you don't have a 90-degree angle connector. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You it out this way, but then it would look really funky. I wonder if it, it's movable. <laughs> I don't think it is, though. One of the builds we did... Kind of makes me think of the Lean Lee connectors, how they have like the whole shift, like how you can change the angles, like uh, with the, uh, yeah. yeah, the. They're going to start there. Yeah, it's going to move to this. Yeah. They're all going to be able to. Oh, <laughs> uh, another pain. Happy 40 years to Gigabyte as they hit their 40th year as they do have some other GPUs for showing. And here's a few that may end up surprising you, but here's some motherboards that you may be interested in, especially if you're for Intel or AMD. If you're familiar with Gigabyte's X3D boards, they did have them available. If you're curious if it will be compatible with, say, Zen 6, you don't have that to worry, especially with the new X3D boards. Now let me surprise you with something else that may catch your eye and take a look at this. They do have some new 9070 XT GPUs, which may be exactly what you're looking for. Orange Arcs 9070 XT Elite. They have the new Hulk cooling fans here. And there's the X870E Arrow a lot of you have been asking for, like Project Wood. Here's something that can come to the table here. I gotta say, I do certainly appreciate the aesthetics of this PC. It does look mighty awesome the way it was created. Here are Gigabyte's Fortune OLED displays here. 2560 resolution and it goes up to 280 hertz. Now this is tandem OLED. For anybody that is looking for a next generation OLED device, uh, they do have a 4K version of it. Uh, this is the 32U24 at 240 hertz. Uh, it does have HDMI 2.1 anti reflection film, so this is more than likely, I'm assuming, a matte display. I'm assuming these are glossy displays, is it? And this one's a matte display? No, all, all, all glossy. All glossy, okay. Because I, was, uh, I wasn't sure because I saw the anti-reflection film. Yeah, and I usually know that like causes it to become like semi-glossy. Or it becomes... Like semi -glossy, uh, glossy, okay. It's okay. a different uh, film that is supported by two, two LG and Oh, okay. I see, I see. Okay, awesome. You can see the difference between... Oh, absolutely. The, the color. ...non-hypernese. And how about the heatsink and them? Um, yeah, heatsink uh, is also customized. Customized. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And oh, nice. And they're ultra wide. <laughs> that one is very unique because this is the world first V stripe. Like I say, the RGB oh, stripe. Awesome. The yeah. RGB stripe. Nice. 
so you can solve the problems that the previous right video did. with text clarity yeah, and everything. And text clarity will be awesome. So now, yeah, you can see it here, like it's a lot more clear too. And that was a big thing I know, like uh, when it came to, um, like when people do things like programming or web development, yeah, yeah, then yeah, yeah. that would be a big issue with them. But th for anybody that is looking for ultra wide, this may be the next generation that you are looking for by Gigabyte. And this one is the MO34WQ36. And what's the uh, re uh, release date for these? Release date will be late, late January. Oh, late January, Maybe okay. Like so for anyone's curious, this is priced at MSRP at $999. And $599. $599, really? Oh, that's a, that's a good deal. That's a really good deal. So if anyone's looking for a more display like this, like a 27 inch, this is only 599 and it's OLED. A great deal, honestly, for anyone that's looking for it. Uh, and as it, and I guess the base is, uh, is it a metal base? Yeah, full metal. Oh, okay, full metal base. So if you're curious, it, it does have a full metal base. And um, and do you know the inputs in it too? Yeah, inputs uh, we support that. Two HDMI port and one two. TV port. Okay, and so one. Type -C port. And Type-C, oh good. Okay, so it has those three options. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. So if anyone's interested in doing things like LLMs and AI, this is it for you. They do have some, some builds here for you guys that are more interested in these particular items. I know some of you are just eyeing up that RAM. <laughs> I think many of you are, especially today. Take a look at this wonderful creation here. Z890 or is Tantian Ice.